Hi friends, it's Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations. I hope someone's gonna join me soon. I thought I'd get on today and do a little live with you of my little haul that I have from Hobby Lobby and Michaels and have a little chit chat. So I'll wait a few minutes and see if anybody joins. Oh, I see, ooh, three people, yay! Hello everyone on this Saturday. Uh, what time is it? Um, in my neck of the world, it's almost 12.25. Hello, hello everybody. Hi, Lori. Laura, excuse me, I can't see. <laughs> I need to get my um, iPad here ready to go. Hi, Cindy. Yeah, let me get my iPad going. I don't know. Um, today, though, it's only like 65%, so I don't know what's going to... Hi, Linda. How is everyone? I hope you're all having a great day. Hi, Nomi. Victoria. Hi, everybody. Let me see if I got myself up here on this thing. Look how bright I get in here. Doing laundry myself. Okay, here I am. So I can see my chit chat. I don't know how long this is going to hold up for me though. It's only 65%. So I may be staring at the screen. Hi Rita. Yeah, it's um, really sunny here today and hot. I mean, that's thus I have on a tank top because it's really hot outside. Oh, my ice just dropped. I don't know if you could hear that in the background. <laughs> oh, there's 18 of you here. Great. But anyways, I um, made a trip to Hobby Lobby. Uh, when, what day did I go? Like Thursday, I guess. And then Friday, I am having a little trouble doing my wagon. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Hi, Elizabeth. So I don't know if I'm going to look down here or up at the... I, I may just be able to do that on the phone here. I'm not sure. But anyway, so my daughter's not here. And then my son and my husband just... They went out to the Deer Lease today to play on that Polaris, Polaris uh, Ranger thingy that my husband got here about two weeks or three weeks ago. Oh, you just ordered your little wagon and can't wait to get it. Great. I personally have been talking about that big red wagon that I have on the front porch. I'm not quite sure. Hi, Sharon. I'm going to decorate that yet. I'm, I've just been, it's kind of been in my brain. Like I wake up in the middle of the night thinking about it. Cause I'm like, I'm just having the trouble with it. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure how I'm going to do things with it, but I'm going to try. It's, it's just one of those things when you start decorating a new area like this, it's like, um, exactly how you want to do it. And I don't want to copy Arlene, you know, how she has her set up. So I, I have to do my own thing. Hi, Diane. I'm glad y'all could join me today. I know everybody has Saturdays that are so busy. Hi, Jerry. Georgia. Is it hot there in Georgia? It's hot here. It's really warm. But oh, we're supposed to have rain on Father's Day. Oh, bummer. I don't think it's going to be... Um, like in the morning time when we get together with my husband's family, all 20 something of us get together for Father's Day. And, uh, but Sunday night into Monday and Tuesday, we're supposed to have a gully washer. We're having, uh, they've got tropical storm. It's not a tropical storm, but tropical weather coming in to bring us a lot of rain. Maxine. It's cloudy there. It's somewhat cloudy here, but they're just puffy white clouds and mostly blue sky. Very hot and humid. Jerry, where you're at? I was just looking to see if uh, I got all the comments there. Well, anyways, um, how is everybody? I'm, I'm, I'm doing good today. Um, my mom and my sister, I was going to go by and see them actually this morning, but they were going to get their hair cut and, or hair done and stuff like that. So I didn't go and I knew I wanted to get on today because I had this little haul for you and I wanted to share it. Can you see me too? Very good. I'm trying, sitting in my entryway where I always sit because I get light here. It will be good for flowers. Oh, the rain. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, we, we actually need rain. Um, I think where we're at, um, we're supposed to get anywhere from one to two 
inches or maybe a little bit more than that. Oh, thank you, Linda. And um, yeah, our, our yard could use it and everything because we haven't run in the sprinkler. So, you know, our water bill went sky high after we started using um, our sprinklers because here in Texas, you basically have to have sprinklers. <laughs> Unless you want to get out and drag your hose and your water sprinkler around with you. We have the in-ground ones that... Oh, but they seem to, it seems to really use up the um, water because it, it get, our, electric, our water bill gets really high. Well, the electric too for the air conditioning. You've had a lot of rain there. Are you in, uh, well, where are you at, Jerry? Hi, Doris. How are you? Yeah, we've uh, gonna get rain, so I'm glad for that. And um, it's gonna knock down the heat a little bit too for a couple few days. So that'll be fantastic. Cause boy, we could use some heat or heat relief. But uh, yeah, so my daughter is gonna be back. Um, let's see, Tuesday and then Wednesday we go get her driver's license. South Georgia. So it's been getting rainy there. Cause I know a lot of like Florida's had quite a bit of rain and kind of up east eastern seaboard or wherever you call it um i think y'all had quite a bit of rain we have not and we've got areas in texas that are getting the drought conditions what they call drought conditions because they talk about that on the weather you know but anyways uh yeah so my daughter will be back and then we go to, to get her, her um driver's license i'm like not sure i'm ready for that but she is you know and she needs to because she's 17 she'll be 18 in september she just never did it you know after she turned 16 just last year she wasn't i guess not quite sure she was ready to drive oh so maxine they got part of oklahoma got rain but yours didn't you know that seems to happen here too it's like my little part of texas sometimes it'll rain like down the road and we won't get any here it's it's like we live in this little bubble where we don't get rain Uh, we farm here and it's very wet. Oh, Amy, no, you haven't missed the haul. I just got, I just basically got on here uh, just a couple minutes ago. What, seven minutes? So, no, we, we've been just chatting. So, you haven't missed any haul yet. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a huge one. Um, I just have a couple of things sitting over here to my right and a couple of things over to my left because I went to um, Hobby Lobby and to Michael's. Um, one day, Thursday, and then Friday, I think it was, I was out and about. And I did have to go to Walmart, too, because um, I'm going to be taking a pasta salad over to my in-laws. Um, the one I think all of you have probably had before. It's just, I do use bow tie pasta, red and, uh, red and yellow bell peppers chopped up and um, salami and pepperoni. Um, well, I use those little bitty pepperonis, and then I use salami that I cut up myself and uh, then sometimes I'll put a little cucumber in but I don't know that I'll do that and sometimes some black olives and um, I use Olive Garden's um, Italian dressing um, a lot of people use the zesty Italian but that's a little bit too strong for me so I use that and then you know let it marinate and stuff and it tastes fantastic it's such an easy easy dish and it's great for summer because it's kind of light even though you have those meats in it but anyways, I'm going to be doing that um, probably in the morning before we leave to go over there because we have to be over there by like 11.30 in the morning or something tomorrow. So what else is everybody doing today? I've got my laundry going. I did some dusting earlier. I did the, oh, I unloaded my dishwasher. I reloaded my dishwasher. Um, what wouldn't fit when the dishwasher had a hand washed. <laughs> then I cleaned my sink and I just been kind of busy. Oh, have I lost somebody? Did somebody have to leave? I hope not. I got, oh no, see, there's 27 of you. We're 28, so I guess somebody's leaving. All right, maybe I should just go ahead and start my haul so that y'all um, are ready for that. Am I coming through okay? Seems like everybody's dropping off. Oh, you're cleaning up your craft room as you watch. Oh, that's a good idea. I need to clean my area up. All right, let me show you what I got. I guess I'll uh, first do um, Michael's. 
So I went there looking for something, you know, to put in my wagon. Here's my receipt. Um, everything I bought was, I believe it was 50% off, if I'm not mistaken. So let me see if I can gra grab this out of the bag without messing it up. She just kind of just stuffed everything in here. And I don't want to lose. Well, let me get this out first, I guess. This is a mess in here. Ugh. Everything's twisted around. Okay, the first thing I got were these little flowers. Um, they're just like that. I don't even know if they tell, you know, some places they'll tell you what they are. Well, this one says Gerber. I think one fell off in here. But anyways, these little Gerber flowers. So I got this little set. They were normally $7.99, but they were half off. So I got these. And let me get the other ones out. Oh, I swear, the way she packed this stuff. Let me get the rest of this out so I can tell you what I'm up to. Okay, so I got the these red ones. And I'm pretty sure... Ah. Well, this is missing a flower. See the stem right there? I hate that when that happens. Jeez. I think it fell on the floor because when I was at her... Um, her checkout thingy, I a cup, I picked up one off the floor from something that's sitting here, and I didn't the other. But anyway, so I got these red, because you know my wreath that I'm going to be using has the Gerber, yellow Gerbers in it, and it also has, um, what other color did it have in it? Well, it has that red and white checked ribbon, and I think I, oh, and I, some of those little lighter yellow or daisies are in that wreath, with along with the... Um, that chambray blue um, ribbon that's in it and everything. So, this is for the red. Then I picked up some yellow. These are um, yellow. I guess these are Gerber's. I'm not quite sure. These are also 50% off. These were normally $3.99. So, I'm going to use some of these. And then I got this little bunch that has some yellow, little yellow ones in it with some white too. And then this one with this little bit of blue that'll kind of mimic that chambray. And what I'm going to do with this, I think I'm going to make a flower arrangement with this. Um, so that I have something, something to put in my wagon because that's what I'm thinking. And I bought, and you'll see it in a minute, um, something to put it in. So um, I'm going to hope I have enough um, styrofoam. But anyways, so I think these will look cute when they're all put together. And I just got that one little hint of blue in there because it will match my, you know, my wreath. So what do you think? Do you think this, I think it's going to be cute when it's done. Because I know um, Arlen and I are kind of doing a little bit of the same color scheme. Um, just my wreath was already had these colors in it, so that's why I'm using them. Um, but I'm bringing in the blue, so I'm doing like red, yellow, and chambray blue as my color scheme, and she's doing red, and I think more of like a golden color. So they will never, they won't look alike at all. But anyways, this I'm going to make into a flower arrangement, I think. So that's there. Um, their flowers were pretty picked over. Um, I was surprised um, that they were picked over so much. All right, and then I went looking for a garland. So I got this yellow garland. If I can get it, see, all this is tangled together. Okay. All right, I just got this little yellow garland. And somehow I'm gonna mix this garland here, I think, with this white garland that I picked up. somehow and then probably somehow bring some blue into the mix and some red so I'm gonna to try to do that so I can put this inside maybe inside my wagon I'm not quite sure so anyways that's what I'm trying to do um, I think is try to combine the two of these together and then add some red aspects and some white aspects 
So we'll see how it goes. Um, I think that's what's going to happen. And I'm probably, you know, I will zip tie these together to kind of make them, make it a bigger um, thing. And that way, if I wanted to ever take them apart and do something else with them, I can. And I probably won't be gluing anything on. I'm just going to try to add the color in somehow. Okay, what did you just say? I was at my mind with the money and it was really picked over too. Yeah, the um, flowers, there wasn't a whole lot left of anything. In fact, they moved you know, I, in my Michaels, they have like one little area. It's a bit, kind of big, big, and on each side, they have usually all the florals and stuff like that, especially in the springtime. They had tons of it on one side, tons of it on the other side, and then they have a little thing that goes right down the middle that has like the, oh, like all the containers and stuff for plants and stuff like that, all the metal and um, some, and then they have buckets with greenery and things like that down below, and all that was gone. They had it all shoved back against one wall, and it was all stuck here, there, and the other place. It was kind of a mess, so you really had to pick through it. It was like, I guess people had been doing that because it was not, you know, it was very hard to find what you were looking for and stuff like that. So I, I guess next year I'm going to make sure when I get over there for the springtime that when I want certain flowers, I'm going to go ahead and just grab them because I didn't like it, the fact that they were all gone. And I ran into the same thing when I was at the at-home store, too, when I bought those daisies and stuff the other day. Those are going to go, like, go in my bows and things. Um, hello, Dance Mom. Manitoba, Canada. Hello, hello. Welcome. Okay, Maxine, you just got your little red wagon, but you don't know what to do with it? I don't know. I'm in the same boat. I've got my little red one sitting here. It's going to end up in actually my other room, my family room. Um, I'm not going to put it outside because I have that big, you know, radio flyer wagon. And I think what's wrong for me, I just noticed I, I'm sitting here in the entryway and I've got that big welcome sign sitting outside my door, you know, that I did for 4th of July and the tag still hanging on the back of it. I never took it off. But anyways... I think what's bothering me about that red wagon is the fact that it's red because my porch, you know, I've kind of got this uh, farmy thingy going on, sort of. And so my bench is white. The home sign I have is white. And, um, you know, I've got a milk can and my little um, stool that I painted. That's white. And that red, it just, I think that's thrown me for a loop because I'm just not... I mean, I can see it at Christmas time, how cute it'd be decorated. I can see it and, you know, not so much. I mean, at Christmas time, I can see it really looking cute. But any other time of the year, I'm thinking, besides 4th of July, I'm like, that red's going to throw me off, you know, especially like for fall. So I was thinking, and don't get mad at me, but I was thinking about maybe spray painting that white. Do y'all think I'm nuts? I just think... I could use it so much more if I did that. A wood red truck. Oh, how cool. Yeah, I love my little red truck. Or not, well, it's actually not too little. The one my son gave me. I love that truck. But what do y'all think about that? I'm thinking maybe of like painting it white. Because I think then I could put anything in it and it would work. Maxine says, go for it. Yay. I'm thinking about doing that. Put a throw on it to cover it up. Well, I don't know, necessarily know um, where my area is, where I've got it sitting right this moment. Um, if it rains, it'll get, it's, it's going to get wet. So I really don't want to throw a nice blanket out there or anything like that. I was looking. I used to have a black, or a black, I had a blue and white checked tablecloth. And I thought, ooh, I could throw that in there because it kind of go with my chambray look. Well, I went through all my drawers and stuff, and I think I got rid of it years ago because I wasn't hadn't used it in ages. So I um, do what I, makes I happy. Oh, thank you, Diane. Yeah, I think I'm I'm thinking about painting it white because then I know I could decorate it for any season of the year. The red just kind of throws me off and. 
for fall. I just don't know how I'd work with it, you know, and stuff like that. Or like, you know, Yelp said, maybe I could find something to put in it to cover it up. That would be great too. Paint it white and distress it. Yeah, I think I will do that. I think I might. I'm probably gonna have to wait till next week. I did buy some chalk spray paint, but I'm not gonna use that on that. I think I'm gonna have to go get some, probably Rust-Oleum, because it's um, metal um, spray paint to spray, spray it, you know, spray it. Because I don't think I wanna try to use some chalk paint on metal. I don't, can you use chalk paint on metal? I know you can use it on glass. I guess it would maybe work on metal. I'm not sure. Oh, hi. What, what's your name? Car, car, he, car, I can't, I don't understand. Okay. K-A-R-H-I. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, but I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you like the halls. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to do with um, that. And the only other thing I bought is I found, I bought some greenery and this is called just greenery. <laughs> I think it's something similar to that maidenhair fern. Because I've looked for this kind of stuff at Hobby Lobby and you can't find this like maidenhair looking stuff. And I've only seen it like, um, if you ever watch any um, Facebook lives of that Ellis Home and Garden that I've, I think I've told you about them. They're in Longview, Texas. Um, they have one in Bossier City, Texas, but they have a website. And um, when he makes wreaths and stuff, he uses a lot of this maidenhair fern. But I thought this might work. You know, I could add in some, some of this greenery with my floral arrangement I'm going to make. So I'm probably going to be working on that pretty soon. But anyways, that's that from there. And then this is a bucket I bought at Michael's. Did I get this at Michael's? No, I didn't. This is from Hobby Lobby. This was in the spring. It was $9.99. It was um, half off now. So I think if I have enough floral foam or whatever, I'm thinking this, this will be in here, in this bucket, I think. But I have other stuff I could use too. I have other uh, containers. But I don't know that I have enough foam. And um, I probably should have bought some when I was at Dollar Tree the other day because I did stop by at Dollar Tree, but I didn't buy anything that you would have wanted to see on a video. It was food and just other stuff like that. I didn't get anything particular. But anyways, I'm thinking about using this for the um, flower arrangement, I think. And then I got this, this, and it's got this wire and it's got roping. And this I picked up, this I did get at Michael's. Normally $24.99 and all this stuff was half off. But I thought I could stand it on end to create an area to set something on top, something inside, that kind of thing. And it's looking gray on here, but it actually has a bit of a blue tinge to it. So I thought it would look perfect with my chambray. Kind of a weathered grayish, bluish. It has a little bit of blue tinge to it. But anyways, um, they had a bigger one, but I thought this one would probably be big enough. But I think if I do paint that white, this is going to look fantastic in it. And then everything else can be colorful in the wagon, you know, if I want it. So, yeah, this crate's cute, isn't it? I love the fact that it has the metal stuff. So, anyways, this is for the wagon. And um, the other stuff, you know, I've bought before. Put newspaper in the bottom of that galvanized vase and then, then the floral fun. Oh, good idea, Diane. Yeah, I don't know how much um, I have. I have some, but uh, yeah, so that's the plan with all that stuff. So I'm probably going to be working on my flower arrangement. I don't know. I may mess with it today. I'm not sure. In between laundry and that kind of thing. Okay, and at Hobby Lobby the other day, okay, let me tell you what I'm trying to do. I really want to kind of make my front porch more farmy looking. And I already have, you know, little pieces here and there. Like I said, my white bench and my home sign and my milk can and my other little um, stool. Then if I paint that other thing white, and then I've got my um, new cushions that I bought for the chairs that are that chambray blue. Did I bring that box over here? Oh, I didn't. I've got a box I'm going to open. Oh, where did 
I put it? Anyways, so I'm going to try to do it farming. So I bought, I was looking for signs, you know, because um, usually for spring, some, you know, spring I had signs out there and I just didn't see anything that was catching my eye that I really wanted to use. So I'm going to do more farming. So I picked up this sign, this welcome y'all. It's got galvanized metal here. It looks like a cotton bowl, bowl. And this was normally $29.99, but this was all half out, off. And it has a hanger on the back, but also has um, string. And uh, I think it will look cute. So I'm going to put this on one, one area of the... Boy, I'm getting dark here. I don't know why it's so dark. Um, Y'all love this? I love it too. It's heavy. It's made out of MDF, I think. And... Uh, says, welcome y'all. And that's exactly what we say down here, you know. So I'm going to put this, I think it's going to go over on the wall farthest where I have that little flag right now. Um, on that wall, I think. So it'll be like above the wagon right there, I think. Because I have this other thing I'm going to show you. <laughs> so this is super cute. I love that sign. And then I bought this sign because I loved it. Ugh. And this is a big one. And this is going to be backwards, but it says farmhouse. And it's white and black wood. And I know it's, it's kind of big. But I'm going to set this out there too. I mean, obviously I don't live in a farmhouse, but it, it can be this way if I want it to be. So I picked that up and I like the fact that it's got the black and white, um, which is real common in farmhouse. And this was $39.99, but it was half off, too. What'd you just say? I'm. Wish we had a hobby lobby in Canada. Need to make a trip to Canada. Hello, everybody. Hi. Okay, yeah, this, I think, is going to look great out there. Um, I'm sorry everything's backwards. I hate these. You know, these lives have been backwards lately. So anyways, those two things um, are going to go out front. So I'm kind of, my theme is going to be a little bit farmy. And um, more with more white. Now that I, I definitely am going to paint that wagon. So I'll have to go find myself some paint. Some spray paint. But this little thing is so adorable. And uh, one pop of red I think would be okay. <laughs> Let me show you this. I just love it. Look at this little chair. Isn't that adorable? It's so cute. And I think it will look cute sitting out there. Look. It's a little metal chair. It's like a, almost like a child's chair. But wouldn't that look cute at Christmas time with Santa sitting on top of it or something? So cute, so cute. Now, normally, this sold for $39.99. I got it for $13.59. They had it on sale. Isn't this cute? Yes, this is adorable. I just was going through the, um, oh, the area that everything was 50% off, you know, stuff they were trying to get rid of, and I just happened to cross it. And I was like, this is stinking cute. So adorable, because I could use this inside or out. Um... But, yeah, I love it. And it's all distressed. Can you see that? It's all, like, distressed and stuff. Sorry for the typos. Don't worry about that. I do that all the time. But isn't that cute? So, the, I'm going to I'm gonna paint that wagon white. But I can have, like, this one piece of red to pop. I just didn't want that wagon... Because that wagon I'll use a lot. Um, this chair, I don't know that I'll keep it outside all the time. It'll be something I might bring in. And uh, so anyways, it's super, super cute. Let me get my box that's sitting back here. I forgot to bring it over with me. Now this I got from Etsy. Because when I started um, looking at cushions and all that mess, and I decided on that chambray. Well, I need some red, so I ordered 
a couple of pillows. Because of course my wreath has that red check in it. I don't think these pillows are very big actually. It doesn't look like it. But they'll probably be perfect to go with the chambray stuff. Oh yeah, the pillows aren't very big at all. Okay, I had to buy the pillow forms and everything because I wasn't quite sure how big um, her covers were. So I had to get the forms as well. So these are the little pillow forms. And see, they're not very big. They're just kind of small. They're just like decorative pillows. It's not like ones you're going to want to use. So I got two of these. I ordered those. And then, look, these are, let me pull this open. They're red and white. They're so cute. I really wanted like buffalo, not buffalo check. I wanted like, um, oh, what's that other stuff called? Um, buffalo check. And then, you know, it was more like a check check. I kind of wanted that, but um, that one, those were too expensive. So this is more of a buffalo. Check, but it's going to be so cute. And this is an indoor-outdoor fabric. Let me see if I can get this unzipped. Where's the zipper? Well, oh, it's, yeah, that's the zipper. Let me see if I don't want to pull it too tight. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's tight. Okay, let me stuff my pillow in here and let's see how it looks. Yeah, this is a cute little pillow, and I thought I'd put this on with my chambray. Won't that be adorable? I think it'll be adorable. Okay. You know how hard it is sometimes to stuff in pillows? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I'm getting to where I can, you can find the cutest stuff on Etsy. And that's a good place to look for signs and things too. All right, let me get that zipped back up. It's lined. Well, no, it's not lined on the inside. And like I said, this is kind of an outdoor fabric, so... Well, the zipper's hard to pull, that's for one thing. If I get it closed, gosh. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cute? And it's so tiny. I mean, I wish I could, like, it would look perfect sitting here, you know? I mean, that's how small it is. It's a small pillow. It's not a very big pillow at all. I would say it's probably, well, maybe eight to 10, maybe 10 inches, if that. But I thought with my chambray, this would look really cute. And then it draws the red from my wreath that'll be on my door over to my chairs. Won't that be good? Oh, Dance Mom, I have a porch tour up um, on my channel. Look for the 4th of July tour. I mean, right now it doesn't, it, it's all de decorated for 4th of July. Oh, Doris, thank you. Yeah, I hope it's going to be super cute. Yeah, this is um, kind of an indoor, uh, more of an outdoor fabric. It almost feels like it's, it's definitely for outside. You know, you can put it outside. It's got that feel to it. It's not soft like you'd want to have it in your house. It's more of an outdoor. Um, but that'll be cute. I really, I really like the smaller checks better, but like I said, uh, this, because I was looking for outdoor fabric. Yeah, it's cute. They had uh, other colors too. This one is called... Sangria is the color. It's a 12 by 12, it says. It's really small, though. But this is Sangria. They also had one that was red, but I think it was much lighter in color. So I chose Sangria. You know how hard it is sometimes online to judge color? And the company name is called Fresh Canopy. She sent me a little thing.
They're actually in Jacksonville, Florida, this girl is. Because I was trying to see if they had the price, but they never show you the price on the stuff, on the paper paperwork for some strange reason. But yeah, I think that yeah, the porch is gonna be adorable with these, and I'll have to put that on later because it's a pain to put it on. But so you can kind of see what I'm going going with here. Oh, a rag garland like that. Yeah, you're right. It would be cute that way. I've actually got. Oh, I think I showed you all that fabric I bought. That ticking, that that blue ticking stripe I bought, and I bought some gray. Um, a gray check, I think it was. Um, I'm going to make a garland with that. Um, I'm going to be bringing you that flower video, um, the one with the mason jar lids tutorial. I'm going to be doing that this week. So I, I just have to sit down and um, plan it and, you know, get stuff ready and then show you how to do that because it's super, super easy. They turn out super, super cute. But I need to get all my my materials together and I'll do that for you probably this early this week and then um, at some point in time I'm gonna make another garland um, one that's more for everyday use you know with color um, if I could find I, don't, I mean I don't know that I want to make more and more and more garlands you know especially while outdoors they you know they're I don't see the thing you wouldn't want them hanging here in Texas too long outside especially if they're fabric unless you had them uh, sprayed with something because it just um, they would get mildewy I think easily you know because of the uh, humidity and the heat was that from Hobby Lobby okay Sharon what are you asking about from Hobby Lobby the chair Oh, bye, Jerry. Well, I'm probably about done here anyways because I think everybody's seen everything. Hi, Jennifer. Um, so, Sharon, what were, you think, what were you asking about? You'll have to tell me because you said, you asked me if that was from Hobby Lobby. And I don't know which piece you were talking about. Some of my stuff was Hobby Lobby, some of it was Michael's, and some of it was from Etsy. Yeah, I really like Etsy. All the pillows I have on my couch over here, you know, I got a few of those from Etsy and um, a couple of them from, um, actually, from Amazon. Oh, the pillow covers. No, I got these from a place on Etsy called Fresh Canopy is the name of it. I, cause um, like I said, I'm, I'm really liking the pillows and stuff I have in in the house, and uh, I love the covers. So I'm gonna get some of those. Um, I'm probably gonna have to um, probably buy some pillow forms, cause I think I don't have any pillows in my um, family room, but I want to buy some or have some pillows made for in there too, cause um, they just look so cute. And I'm thinking about in that room. Um, if you recall, I have a red chair in the corner um, that kind of matches some of my curtains and the things I had that made years ago or it's a cover I'm thinking about getting a white slip cover to put over it um, just to make it more farmy in there because of course we're going to at some point in time and hopefully I'll video it we're gonna do some shiplap uh, above that fireplace in that room and then um, my husband is gonna make me a new table for the credenza that we have in there it was just a Condenser that came with our furniture, you know, it's just kind of the cheap piece of furniture. So he's going to make me um, like a sofa table, but it's going to have sh two shelves on it. Where did I p purchase which are large area rugs? I've got two that are from Lowe's, I think. Yeah, I think all my most of my rugs I've been getting from Lowe's. In fact, the brand new one that's under my dining room table is from Lowe's. But anyways, I'm excited. I can't wait to you know. I've already I sent my husband a picture of this table I want him to make me, 
And um, I can't wait till we start on that because he asked me, when do you want to do that? And I said, right now, whenever you're ready, let's go buy the stuff and let's start it. Because <laughs> he told me it shouldn't be too difficult. And then I would like to, like I said, put a white um, slip cover over that chair. And that'll kind of bring that whole room into that farmy feel too. And then if we could ever do something to our kitchen, that would be nice too. So right now, though, we're, that's on hold because it's just going to cost too much money to do that. Yeah, check out, um, you can check out their website, um, but it's better probably to go look in person because then you can see about how big they are. Hi, Brenda. I'm sorry if you've missed most of it. We've been here for, what, 41 minutes now. I just wanted to share what I got for my porch and kind of what my whole thinking process is of what I want to do. So you'll have to watch back the rest of the video when it, get, when it gets loaded. Because it, usually when I do a live or anybody does a, a live, um, when we're finished, it automatically loads up. It takes a little bit, but it loads up by itself. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to sit there and babysit my video <laughs> or do anything like that. So it works out really well. But yes, I'm excited about this challenge. Um, I know it's still a few weeks away, but I was, I, I thought, I was thinking I have got to start gathering things and of course now that I'm going to paint that I got to have time to do that and since we've got rain in the forecast for the next five days or something like that I don't know when I'll get to painting so I'll have to get out and well one I'll have to go buy some spray paint so I can work on that and uh yep I'm excited about all of this and then I can't wait till we get started on some of the stuff in the house too you know because I really want to do some shiplap in here in this entryway where I'm sitting I really want to do some white shiplap here too and uh, I'd really like to shiplap my whole house if I could. That would be a big job, though. But I'd love to do that. Because I saw a video, and I wish I could remember whose it was. There's this one girl I watch. Um, oh, I wish I could remember. Well, if, if I think about it, I'll try to write it down um, sometime and tell you it another time. But she... Her, the decor way she decorates is so fantastic. I love her decorating. I wish I could remember the name of the thing. Um, and then she also went and went to a friend's house and video, um, like videoed her, their house, and their house is completely shiplapped everywhere, and it is gorgeous. It looks so good, so nice. I love it. So I wish we could do our whole house, but you know that would take forever and a day, and we. Um, I don't know that we'll be here forever in a day, so <laughs> we will see. Yeah, I love shiplap too. So I'm hoping we can just add, you know, a little bit here and there because um, I told my husband, I said, after we did this room, I mean, the one, you know, the one, my great room here, it is my favorite room in the house. I absolutely love how it looks. It's usually the cleanest house in the area in the house because nobody uses it except me. I sit in my comfy couch over there sometimes and watch videos in the morning, especially you know, if Arlen's done a video or DaVita or somebody like that. I uh, watch their videos and I sit in here and have my, my caffeine and uh, watch a few videos first thing in the morning. Oh, Dance Mom, thank you. I appreciate that. I work hard to try to make it look nice, you know. It's one thing I love doing though. I love to decorate. Yeah, that, this, I, I, I love how it turned out. I mean, absolutely loved how it turned out. And basically, we just started with, you know, what we had. We got rid of, well, some furniture and stuff. And then, you know, the wood floor we already had, um, our big sectional we had already, um, the dining room table we made, which I love that table. I love it, love it. My hutch I painted, you know, I bought that off of like an offer up or something and painted it and it looks fantastic and added the ship lap on each end and it instantly changed the way the room felt it really did so I'm real happy with it because my husband couldn't believe I wanted a dining room and I was like I you know I'd like to have a dining room back because whenever we have family we always sit in the kitchen area and make our table because that table will extend quite a bit um, and sitting there and then the TV's on and you know, there's no conversing going on because everybody's like watching the big game or whatever might be that day So I would prefer it, you know that we don't have TV 
um, where we're eating. So I, I do love sitting at that table when we eat. But, you know, that's only on, like, special occasions. I mean, we could sit there every day if we wanted to. Oh, I hope you find one. See, I had seen um, another... One of a uh, YouTuber I used to watch. It's kind of funny. I have two different channels. I have my channel, you know, that I am um, now, Sweet Daisy Creations. But I have my, I had like a channel before I actually started doing videos. And uh, on that channel, I saw a girl that bought a hutch. I mean, it was a big hutch. She got it for 75 bucks. She painted it black. It looked fantastic. I loved that hutch. I looked and looked for something similar to it, but I couldn't find anything. And, uh, but that's how I got to the point where I was like, I'm going to go find me a hutch and I'm going to paint it. And it took a while. I mean, it was not a fast process. Um, I used, um, I, I told y'all in a video what type of paint I used and stuff like that. And, um, it just, it was a, a long process. Well, hi, Marsha. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're here. We were just chatting. I was saying, you know, how I wanted to do more shiplap in my house and so forth. And i uh, going to be working on that soon, I hope. I'm excited about it. So hopefully we're going to get some things done. We still have so much to do around the house, though. I mean, my front flower beds look good, but they're all getting weedy again because we didn't ever get any mulch put in, which we needed to work on that, too. And then the back by the pool, that flower bed, we haven't even touched it yet. We are way behind the eight ball on that. So we have lots of that, lots of stuff to do still out there, but it's gotten so hot, nobody wants to work outside. Oh, Brenda, thank you. Thank you, Victoria. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate that. I love y'all. You know that. I love you to death. I really do. Yeah, um, Marshall, you'll have to watch the video back because I did do a haul and I've already been through it once. Um, so I probably won't show everybody everything again. Um, you'll, yeah, the video will load up after we get finished here, and it won't take too long. And then it'll be there, and you can see, the, see everything I've bought. Oh, Brenda, thank you. I do. I do love you. I do. I tell you that every time I'm on here. The, the women in this, in, and a couple of few men, too, are the best people in the whole wide world. We are so supportive of one another. That's what I love about y'all. And, ooh, love that. Chipped paint. Love that chipped paint. What are you talking about? Oh, you've watched all my videos. Oh my gosh, thanks. I've got a lot out there. Yeah, when I was looking up my videos the other day, because I was looking for one particular one, because I was like, did I video that or did I not video that? You know, after you do a few, you can't remember what you've showed people and what you haven't. And when I was scrolling down, it says, look at 100 more. And I'm like, is that how many videos I've done? Over 100 in my little year of doing YouTube? Yeah, because I was thinking... Um, you know, before you know it, it's going to be fall. And that, of course, that's one of my favorite times to decorate. But I don't want to do the same thing I did last year so that the tour looks different. Because I did a tour last year. Ooh, you, you've got... Yeah, we're going to cool down for a few days just because of rain. Our, our temperatures have been 96 plus here recently it's it's always we always have hot summers I mean that's just part of Texas especially where well I mean any part of Texas gets hot but we don't get that really cold weather that they get like up in Amarillo and uh, Abilene up in the Panhandle but we do get some cold weather here 
because we had some 20s this last year and it was terrible cold. I think what makes it cold, because it's damp and cold, you know, because it's always humid in the Houston area. We're too close to the coast to not have humidity. But, well, anyways, guys, I guess I'll let you go. I got. I need to eat some lunch here, here pretty quickly. It's already after one. And uh, I just wanted to show you what I have. And I'm excited about our next uh, tour or, you know, cozy corner thing. Bye, Laura. And uh, like I said, I'll be uh, coming back on to watch. Or not. I just saw something. <laughs> it popped up on my phone. Um, I'm going to be doing the, the flower thing and maybe I'll do my flower arrangement with you or work on some of the other things I'm working on, my bows, you know, especially my funky bows and stuff like that that I'm going to put out front. Um, so I'll be doing those on some videos or something um, and maybe maybe I'll do some more lives. I don't know. I love doing the lives. I like them doing, I like doing those better than just a video because then I feel like I'm just talking to myself. So this is fun because I'm talking to you guys. 93 mission and we're about as far north as you can get. Wow. Yeah, well, I know how sometimes it all comes up like the center of the, you know, the heat ridge, they call it, or whatever it comes up. I should have been a meteorologist. Um, they come up the center of the country and it floats all the way up. Bye, Sarah. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go for now. Um, I guess we'll see each other next week. Probably nothing tomorrow because it's Father's Day. I will be busy. And um, take care, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful um, day with your fathers if you have, have them still, with your husband, um, sons who are married, all that kind of good stuff. All the fathers out there, I hope have a very happy Father's Day. And I will talk to you all later. Kisses and hugs from me. I love you so much and take care everybody.